What's up guys, it is Jay Biebs here, and welcome to this first episode of the South End United Road to Glory. So, basically, nothing simple, nothing complicated about it. We're just going to be doing a Road to Glory with South End United. We'll be going through this first episode, I'm going to show you guys a lot of the, uh, a lot of the preseason and kind of off-season moves that we make. Basically, the way the scheduling for the series is going to work is I'm going to sim, and I'll, pro I'll play a game, and game I deem important, so like cup games, big league games, I'll play that, and then that'll end that episode, and the next episode will pick, pick off right after that game, that's, that's what I'm thinking as of now, but yeah, that's just kind of how, it's just kind of how it's going to shape and form heading into the near future, and this should be quite an inter interesting journey, because we are using a different team than normal, I don't, I'm, I've never used South End. All right, so preseason, I think we just go for the European International Cup. It's it's just the it's the most money, and they're all the same difficulty. All right, so now we gotta look at our board expectations. Youth development, yep, that'll be easy. That I'm gonna do that. Watch mid, full watch finishing mid table. Sp finish the season with 850,000 unspent transfer funds. I don't know about that one. I will say that I don't know about that one. All right, so we moved our scout, we moved our money up. Let's see if we can get a good scout. We cannot, but we have a, we can get a good variety of scouts though. Yeah. All right, this this actually is gonna work out really well for us. All right. So we've got those amazing scouts. What? Ooh, didn't get a good youth academy. Did not get a good. Well, actually, he could be a decent goalkeeper. For us maybe this season potentially next all right yeah, and we'll just ignore all these emails now we gotta work on setting up the team so I do already have a uh, I'd say a pretty unique uh, approach to this I played this I used this formation and style when I was playing in high school so basically it's a 3-4-3 three, three, but with a uh, but with like a narrow diamond in the midfield, and it actually it actually works quite well because really the only weakness is a uh, like a deep long ball into the uh, really to the corners, but th that's easy to defend against. So. Front three is going to be Egbri, Aqua, and Nathaniel George. Midfield three is going to be, or midfield four rather, Melis at attacking mid, Taylor and Olinka center mids, Dimitriou defensive mid, starting center center back, Diang. Lennon and Hobson with Oxley and goal. So obviously with this team there is obviously some uh, interesting differences to uh, what you would traditionally see out of that team. But it's okay because we like being different. So, all right, so tactics we're going 6 width, 8 depth because after possession lost. Offensively we're going possession Nine, six, three, three. So rolls. Our CDM is going to man mark, stay back, and cover center. Our wings, they're in charge of covering the wing, kind of, cover, kind of covering the outside area if it ha so it happens to do so, and they will stay on the edge of the box. Cam, free roam get into the box and wings stay forward stay wide get into the box yeah I'd say that teams the team looks pretty solid now now actually there is a little there's there is some room for improvement so we have to I want to get all of our scouts 
back from their scouting assignments. They have four. I, I have four kind of. I have kind of four really four players I want to sign. All right, now we need to go to the squad hub. So we're gonna sell. Actually, no, we're gonna loan out Clifford. We're gonna sell Hart. We're gonna sell Ralph. We're gonna sell. Howard and we're gonna loan out the Womono. I know he's a really good player. That is why I'm and he has good potential. I'm just gonna loan him out because obviously we don't need right backs. We don't need outside backs in this uh in this shape. Yeah, Clifford, I wanna move him to move him to a left mid. Uh, Hart's leaving, I don't care about him. Ralph's leaving, I don't care about him. Hobson, yeah, we're not going to mess with defenders just quite yet. Yeah, Bowomo, no. I want to move him to a center back because he's, he's, he's very fast. Very, very fast for his, uh, for his eyes. I mean, six foot. If we can, if we can successfully move him out to the out, like into being a center back will be an absolute weapon for us down the line. All right, good. As long really with these outs like the, the players that are gonna be playing center mid, center mid, like outside center mids, as long as their stamina is going up, I don't care what's really being improved on them, because at the end of the at the end of the game, that is exactly what we need our center mids to have a lot of, because again, they are in charge of covering a pretty good amount of space. But I actually feel like I feel like our team's really coming together. All right, got sim head one day. I'm not. I'll worry about training after we go through all this preseason mess. I should stop us on the second to tell us a bunch of stuff, player reactions, whatever that. Then we can send out our youth scouts. Yep. Oh, took us all the way to third. Oh, well, I'll just sit back youth scouting one day. Can't guarantee you games. I'm looking at options. Alone is your best option. Good to meet you too. Alright, youth scouting now. So, best scout. Since I am from the United States of America. United States of America, six months technically gifted. The scout's going to go to Mexico to find some playmakers. And this scout's going to go to Canada to find some defensive minded players. And that's going to sort out a really, a really good starting youth academy. I mean, depending on all the uh, money we get, I mean, we, we, we should be able to hit this just because of like tournament money at the end, hopefully. But, I mean, realistically, depending on some of the players that we sell, we could easily reach that mark. Alright, I'm about to head into our first preseason game. See, I have to save, because I don't know how your guys' uh, FIFA games are, but there's multiple times where it literally just stops. Like, I kid you not, it, I'll finish sending a game, and I'll go to, I'll have an email for, like, a transfer or whatever. It'll go to that email, and it won't load for at least, like, five minutes. Alright, let's see how we do in our first game. 3-2 win. Not bad. I also don't know how good that team we faced was, but... Now, if you remember, I did just talk about, early, a little bit earlier, the four players I wanted to buy. And they, I may or may not be doing so because of transfers and things like that. Like if our scout, if our players don't get sold, I don't have the money to sign any of these players. Essentially, I do want a third center back. Because obviously, you know, we have Dang and Hobson, like Lennon at 
left center back. I'm just not fully sold on uh, his abilities to really be a solid center back for us down the road. So I'm looking at maybe getting someone new. Or at least just keeping keeping an eye on these players. Because they do have over 75 potential. I think all of them do. So yeah, just keeping an eye on some of these guys. If not buying them. Alright, let's head into our next preseason game against Ross County. Again, I have to gotta save it for every game. Just because you never know, the system's just going to completely crash. A 2-2 draw. Okay, I think that might give us... Does that give us... Yep, I think... Yep, we're going... I, what defense do we face? I think we go through. Transfer offer for Rob Howard. We'll try to boost that up to... If we can get him for like 375-ish, hopefully they'll sell for middle ground to like 340. I am American, so everything is in dollars. Sometimes I switch it to uh, pounds, but I just didn't feel like it this this time. Uh, he's not worth it. 103,000 is not going to do much right now. Down the line, maybe. Not, yep, 330. Exactly. Exactly what we wanted. Alright, so that's one player that hopefully we will get rid of. Assuming he accepts the transfer offer. Alright, we got slaughtered 3 0, but I'm pretty sure we're, we're, we go through. Alright, we made it to the semis. It's, we didn't. Wow. Okay, I gotta check the standings on that. I actually got to check the standings. Did we get? Do we finish in third? Is that? Do we seriously not get in? Because we? Is it because of goal difference? It was really because of goal difference. Because we played so bad in that last game. Wow. Okay. Well. That was unexpected. Alright, good. We got a transfer offer for Ralph. Like, I do know he can play left mid. But, I mean, it, truly, he's a, he's a left back. I don't want a left back turned left mid playing as one of my wingers. In other shapes, I'm totally down for it, but just not in this, not in this shape. Because our wings need to be full on wingers. They can't be defenders turn wingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His contract's expiring. I know. Oh, and Nathaniel George. Oh. So Howard was sold good. And Ralph, 470. Yeah, I'll take that. So we're starting to, we're making some good moves here. Which is very nice to see. Alright. I mean, team's looking pretty good right now. I can only keep saying that, but I'm just... This is my... I think it's like my 8th League 2, like, career mode series, like, RTG or whatever. But this is really the one I feel the best about. So how much money do we have in the bank? So we've got 1.2, which is really only like 400 because of, you know, yeah, Youth Academy stuff, or financial requirements and stuff. I actually don't know if we're going to buy any of these players. Because I don't, like, I'm, I'm really, I'm a little hesitant to sign... You know, I think we'll just wait. We'll just keep an eye on these guys. Maybe we won't sign them now, but we sign them later in the season. Cause I also haven't, I also haven't played any games, so I don't know how, how the team is really gonna, you know, how's the team gonna gel together? How's the team gonna play together? T 
Taylor offer with John. Now the preseason's over, I think we're gonna start doing these training drills. Through the gap, this one's not that bad. I actually like this one because, you know, and it's pretty realistic. It's pretty unrealistic that my center back is doing like these crosses, however, though. But, it does make, this one, this one is actually applicable to games. Again, I just don't understand why my center backs are A, the one crossing it, and B, the one shooting it. Or my defensive mid is the one shooting it. That's the thing I dislike about these new like FIFA drills. Like I mean, you, I know you can go through and change the players, but it's different every time. It's like I also don't understand why. Like sometimes in like like shooting drills, I have like my center backs only. You know, it makes so much more sense when oh, it's a shooting drill. So I have my starting striker, my starting wing, both my starting wingers. And it was gonna be a backup striker. Yeah. This the players that chose for this actually makes sense. Starting wingers, starting striker, backup striker. There isn't just randomly a defensive mid in here for no reason. If only they could shoot this accurately in a game. There we go, that's more like it. I actually truly think like, especially with League 2 teams, if you can get a touch in the box and have time to take a touch and shoot it, I think it's pretty much a goal at that point. Alright, this drill's, this drill's hard. Especially when you don't have the greatest of free kick takers. Well, it also helps when you're not, also not facing the greatest defense. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. Okay, at least made him make a save. Good job there. Okay. Maybe this drill isn't all that bad. Oh. What a run, what a finish. If only they could do this in the games. Also, number advantage. Ooh. Yeah, that was, that was a bad ball. Just try really high floater. Oh, Ferguson. Alright, so there's a quote unquote wall. But I think we can still just whip it around there. Uh, what, didn't exactly get the run I was hoping for from Taylor there on the front. Oh, that's cool. Alright, and then just gotta do that again on this side. Alright, yeah. So, three A's. Not bad, not bad. Alright, we got Jules to do on the 24th. Champion attacking scenarios is a tough one. And it's essentially like a... It's like a 4v4 to goal. And you have to score. Alright, this one's... This one's relatively easy. As long as you get the right player. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed one. See, now this is a tricky spot. Okay, thankfully it isn't, actually. Because sometimes what happens... Well, well, why is he actually dribbling? Um, okay. Oh, I foul. That's so stupid. Well, maybe. If you didn't give me such stupid player choices. Okay, actually, yeah, let him shoot that. Okay, yeah, you know, we'll just let him score. Yep, we'll take the A. You know, it's, it's no long, the first one, I messed up, I was, I was playing for pride, I was trying to stop him. I realized I was very wrong. Alright, so this is actually realistic, because we got we got our front three essentially going here. Okay, he read that perfectly. All 
A canola? Oh, see, that's why he's not our starting striker. You gotta be finishing that. Okay, we also gotta be passing better. Alright, this is a goal. Yep, we'll take that. Nathaniel George, you are the worst player on this team. There we go. Good finish from Akinola. I forgot there was offsides in this drill. What is that touch? Jeez. I thought Eggbury was supposed to be a uh, good dribbler. Like, what is that pass? Let's play the through ball. Okay, Akinola. Like, you have to be joking, right? If you, that was that was a that was a funny prank. You know, you missing that wide open goal. How do we not press and win the ball back there? Akinola. It's literally exactly why you are not starting. It's because you are horrendous. And that's why good ship doesn't start either. Like, it's not even like I'm playing badly. I'm just, like, I'm getting no runs from anybody. No, we, we go for a C. Wait, that was a that was a terrible ball. Thank you, Nathaniel. Like Nathaniel George, what are you doing with your life? There we go. Oh, that's got to be on target there, sir. Okay. Akinola. You're... Okay. How do you not read that pass, Nathaniel George? All I've learned from this is Akinola will never play for us. And Hart deserves to be a left back. <gasps> no, I I seriously just lost a goal because I fouled him. That is stupid. And, of course, Eggbury can't finish that. Okay, yeah, S Akinola will never be a starting striker for this team. He is so bad, it hurts. Oh, like, what is... Like, Nathaniel George, is I, as a winger, is a better striker than Akinola. I don't even want Akinola shooting the ball. I don't even want him touching the ball. Come on, let's make some let's make a miracle happen here. Okay, I'm done. I'm I'm gonna transfer this to Akinola right after this. I no, we're, we'll loan him out because we might need him as a bench player. 
but how can one be that bad and still be our highest rated striker like he doesn't have the highest potential which is why he's not playing and I think it's Ak Akipa or whatever he's the starting striker because he's got I think 74 potential I think or no or is it 76 it wasn't 75 it was 70 it was a 70 number that was even it was great more than 72 yeah whatever Joel's over woo hoo hoo Mellis I would love you as our starting attacking mid if you're doing skills like that Aqua. Try go to try look at development plans for our strikers. Yeah, complete striker. He really has that high stats. Never would have guessed it from Akinola. Never would have guessed he was that good. We'll loan him out. Just because he's, he's, he's got a cheap contract. Really. Alright, got another training session to do. And I think this is going to be a very frustrating one. This drill, I find, is so annoying. I mean, it literally it takes no skill. You just got to be able to dribble in a line. Like, I already have an A from my very first player. And you can just kind of do a little bit of cheating right there. Anytime you really mess up here, it's it's because your player's not good enough. Uh huh. That's not the skill moves. And there's only like three seconds left. Yep. We'll take the nice and easy A. Eh? This one's very very simple. Or not. Because again, at Canola. Like it doesn't even matter if he, I mean, if it's just me that's making him play bad, but I'm fixating all of my hatred on him. If I can have one player to blame for everything, then we're doing better as a team. Plus, he's been loan listed, and someone might want to pick him up. Alright, we got an A. I mean, we we don't we literally don't need him at all. So I literally feel no no ill will in getting rid of him. Because I mean, obviously we have Aqua Aqua. I don't know how you say his name. I mean, we have him to start a striker for us. Plus, who knows, our youth academy, who knows what they're going to bring back. Or we might just sign a player. But yeah, Akinola is not needed at this club. I don't want to sell him, because depending on injuries, we might need uh, like a backup striker to loan in for the end of the season. And we can bring him back. Because he can make he can be good at some of the money for us in the future. 
and my teammates are being nice and helping me out. That's out of the zone. All right, that's an A. Give me my A. Thank you. I don't normally get an A on the ad drill, so I'm very happy we did so. I think we have one, one more training session before our first game. At Canola Loan Offer. Loan to buy. All right, this is what I like to see. Exactly what I want for at Canola. Yep, loan to buy works for me. Two years? Sure, why not? I think there's about a 40% chance they sign him. I think it'll purely come down to if Barnsley get relegated. Because right now they're in the championship. If they get relegated to the, uh, if they get relegated to, regu ugh, not regulated. If they get relegated to League One, I think there's a, uh, very, very solid chance that they, uh, that they, uh, sign him. I just don't, I think if they stay in the championship, they'll, they won't. But if, if they drop down, they will definitely sign him. Because he could be a good backup striker for League One. I just don't want him being a starting striker for League Two. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. I'm not really focused right now. I, I really just want to get these stupid training drills over with so we can get into our first game. Because not only will our first game happen, we get our first youth scouting back. And I think we should have that one league game and then we are playing in the cup against Plymouth if I was not mistaken from that last screen. But we do have a really tough game because I think we face Salford to start things off and they are a league favorite. So it will be tough for us. But at least we're starting off against a very good team. So we will kind of get a really good feel of how the team's going to do this upcoming season. I mean, if the AI defends like this. Ooh, <laughs> they really just hit it into the goal. It didn't register, but that was going in. What a... F Ooh. We're still going? Does this go until you fail? Like, I'm, I'm literally so, like, I know I could easily just pass this out and call it quits. Okay. I was going to say, how long, how long was it going to have us go on that drill? Like, I understand it's an important drill and all, but, like, come on. All right, good there from Hobson. Another good job from Hobson. We are also facing good ship. Who's not even good enough to start for the team? Yep. Alright, yeah, this is an easy drill. We just gotta not be stupid and foul. Good job there from Oxley. Ooh. I'll give him that one. That was a good move. I think that was just because of lack of defensive ability. Yep. Alright, we're going to play our next drill. I, I, I'm, I'm done with training. I just want to get into the games. Alright, so we've got score. Easy. Oh, now I'm going to take a touch like that, Eggbury.
Yeah, there we go. Just calm, be calm, compose yourself, and get it into the back of the net. Or just sprint around them because you're a pace freak. Oh, that's what we're supposed to do. Alright, well, I don't like that drill, so... Yep, 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 whatever. I'm, I'm not playing the final training session. I'm getting right into the game. Because I don't want to wait, and I also I have college class. I have to get to in about 35 minutes. The game takes 20 minutes, so... So yeah, we're just going to sim that. All right, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode. Next episode, we'll obviously be facing off against Southford. If you are still here right now, comment Southend down below. I hope you all have enjoyed watching. I hope to see you all next time. And until then, it is Jay Beebs signing off.